It's February 17th, 2023. It's really not, but I forgot to put the date on this video. This is the next day. In a few moments, I'm going to tell you about waking up to an uninvited critter in my bed. Well, I had an interesting experience early this morning, somewhere around 1.30 a.m. I was laying in bed on my back and my shoulder started itching, which happens. It just So, rather than reach across my body and scratch it from behind, behind I just ground my shoulder into the, the sheets and the mattress. And the itch went away. I scratched my itch. About 20 seconds later, it started burning. I got this burning sensation in the area of the itch, what used to be the itch. I thought, well, that's kind of odd. It woke me up. So I reached back there and rubbed the spot. And didn't feel anything, but as I brought my fingers back across, I noticed the unmistakable fragrance of a stink bug. Now, I live in an area of the country where stink bugs are kind of prevalent. They want to come in during the winter into your homes and whatnot. They like to be out in the sunshine in the summer, but they like to come in out of the cold. And they fly. They're hard to find, uh, but they end up in the weirdest places. I apparently one had flown into the bed and decided to nestle under my arm so it could get warm under my shoulder and it caused the itch. Now that wasn't a problem. The problem was when I ground my shoulder down into it, it activated the stink bug's defense mechanism, which is an oil that they secrete, a very bad smelling oil. And, and it's, it's not so much stink as it is sickeningly sweet. It smells uh, kind of like super cilantro mixed with some sort of, I don't know, paint chemical or something, but it's very, very sweet. It just, it, it just makes you sick to smell it. Now, they don't bite. They don't sting. At least these don't. These are also known as shield bugs. They're little shield-shaped brown bugs. There are a number of types of stink bugs, but this is, this is not one that bites or stings. But the oils they secrete during their defense can cause a skin irritation. And it did. It burned. I'm, as a matter of fact, that happened at about 1.30 or 2 o'clock this morning. And it's uh, 1 o'clock p.m. And I'm still experiencing some burning sensation. If you've never smelled a stink bug, it, it just, you, you, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about unless you've actually experienced it. So just take my word for it. If you've never smelled one, it's just absolutely awful. The only thing that I know of that will get rid of this awful stink bug smell is toothpaste. So I got up and washed my hands, with, washed my fingers with toothpaste and it took the smell away. And I woke my wife up and said, hey, look, this is what happened. We got the stink bug off the bed, got it out of the house. Uh, he was kind of not, he was still alive, uh, but he was not in the best shape because I almost ground him to a pulp. But, but anyway, so we got him out of the house. Um, and then I had my wife, you know, rub my shoulder down in the area of uh, contact with some toothpaste and that that took care of the odor on my skin of course went back and the sheets had to be changed because they had the blessing of uh of stink bug on them you just never know where these things are going to show up and uh, that was not the best place to do it so now of course anytime i itch in the in the, the while i'm sleeping i'm going to be kind of wondering hmm, do i need to get up and take a look and see if there's another one's popped into bed or whatever but uh, i just wanted to share that with you uh, and again, if you've never smelled one, go see if you can find a way to smell one. You'll be, uh, it'll be something that you'll never forget, uh, I'm pretty sure. So that's what's going on at this time in this place. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you can, help me out by subscribing.